young at heart But we're still dreaming Eyes wide open Leave this place behind No matter what they say Yeah, cause we're stronger than iron We won't let them break us down What is up, YouTube? There goes my cousin Ian. There's Stephanie. And I'm non-existent. What are we getting right now, guys? Carne asada fries. Carne asada fries? What are you getting? Okay. Carne asada fries. Dang, that sounds so good right now. We're here getting Albert tacos. So, Ian, what did you get for Christmas this year? Uh, me and Stephanie are sharing a 7600. And you're going to start a YouTube channel? Right no, we're just using it for photography. Stephanie, are you going to use it for YouTube? Uh, no. What? No one's starting a YouTube channel? I already have. I thought everyone's trying to start a YouTube channel. We all have a YouTube channel. Yeah. Okay. Vegan friendly food at a Mexican restaurant. Mm -hmm. Can you get a carne asada fries with guacamole on the side? Yeah. If you could do that and a guacamole and that's all. Okay. And then we'll also get another order of fries with guacamole. Uh, with guacamole. Okay. Andrea? That's all. Alright, it's 1974. Cool, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. It's lit. It's lit. It's sick. Look at those sick angles. Oh my gosh. Look at those. Oh, look at that, Stephanie. Yeah. I'm kind of. You sound so what? happy right now. Yeah, I'm just. Sorry. You sound like you have so much fun with me right now. Oh no, like, my throat hurts. I don't I, know what it is. Oh, I'm not. I'm not fun. No, I think I was yelling on my PS4 yesterday. Oh. All right. So let's look at what they got really quick. So, Thanks. Stephanie, I interrupted you. Is that Stephanie? What's Ian? Uh, yeah. What did you guys get again? This is carne asada fries, fries with the guacamole, with guacamole inside. I got fries with just guac, and I got a burrito for later with protein in there. You guys miss me? What? Yes. You think I miss you guys? Somewhat. <laughs> no, I thought you guys are busy. I'm never free. Uh, I'm barely free now, but really? it's break, so I'm chilling. Yeah, finally. that's why I'm free. I'm free. I've only been working. I'm only working. You sound like you're so much fun right now. You sound so alive, you. <laughs> I just sound. Million thoughts are spinning around in my head. I pause, hold, sit down. Cause I'm almost there. Now what's it? We're here getting boba. We just got. What did we get? We got. Alba tacos. Alba tacos. But now we're getting some boba here at Boba Loca. We just came from Alba Tacos. How did you forget already? <laughs> Dude, I'm 30. It's for the okay. vlog. I'm 30. It's for the vlog, yo. It's for the vlog. Oh my gosh, how old are you, dude? Yeah. Whoa, look at that. Ian is balling. Whoa, Ian, look at all that. Oh my gosh. What a full oh shoot. I don't believe in the bank. That's my up energy drink. Get in. <laughs> you don't believe in the bank? How do you get paid? A drink. I have really bad red seat. I didn't do that. Oh, what the? Wait, what? You did it again? What the? F oh. All right, guys. So as you know, we are here at Boba Loca right now, getting some boba with Stephanie and Ian. But I didn't get any boba. Why? Because I'm a not vegan thing. Yeah, yeah. Did I mean? This is why I didn't get boba. I still got my oven energy drink. This has 200 milligrams of caffeine, and this is with Christian Guzman. And so now I feel cool. You know why I like hanging out with my cousins? Because it makes me feel like I'm the coolest person in the world. Wait, but I am the coolest person in the world. <laughs> If you guys have been following me for a while, you guys actually know this place, Boba Loca, right here. Check it out. <laughs> Boba Loca. And uh, this is actually the place where I used to come and like learn code for a while. Like for example, my um, the first three months when I was teaching myself code, I would go to work, right? And I'll study code there, sneak it in. And then I would come here for three months every single day to study HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. When I started my YouTube channel, which was like November of last year, this is the place where I come to upload my videos, to edit my videos, if not every day, every other day, edit and like really try to hustle, if not at Denny's. And this is the, one of the places where I really built this channel. And I don't really come in no more. I do everything from home or, you know, somewhere else. But it is cool coming back here during the day when I'm wide awake with the cousins who look like they're having a fantastic time. Oh yeah, no, I really like this drink. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, just going back. Alright YouTube, what is up guys? I want to make sure I have a vlog to upload later. What I do want to do right now is something that I planned on doing honestly like three or four weeks ago but I never did. And what I want to do, as you guys know I do do like live videos often. 
But what I want to do this time isn't a live video um, because usually on my live videos, what I do is I answer questions and. But I actually asked some questions on my channel a while ago um, on my community tab on my channel. Check it out if you haven't yet. And I, what I did on that is I actually asked people, ask whatever questions you want to ask and you want me to answer. And I'll answer on a vlog a couple of days later and I actually never did that, I never got to it. So I'm, I figured I might as well do it right now. So, so, okay, so here's one question I want to answer right now. So this one comes from Ilya A. Um, and he told me to post a vlog already. Can you also find time to discuss one important but neglected topic, I think? Uh, and he said, uh, while we all follow you um, because you're also coming from the same motive to learn how to code and change our lives, uh, we follow your channel and some of us follow other resources. And, you know, I'm sure you guys follow maybe Aaron and Beta, which is awesome, Coding Phase and other people. I don't really follow anyone other than Aaron and Beta and I watch Coding Phase from time to time. He says, we want to learn this um, and that we have plans, <clears throat> it get, but it gets stressful sometimes and worrisome. And what he said here, he says, so I feel that it's just important to remember that as long as you do your best, that will take you where you want to be someday. And you know what, bro? What is really important is that when you do do this coding thing, it's not going to be easy. It's supposed to be hard, right? Again, yes, it is important that you have to give it best. And that's what it takes to get in this industry because we don't have a degree to get into this industry in the first place. It's really hard. It's really, really hard. Why? Because we don't have a degree to back up how good we are. Uh, for me, I had to make my first website and now I got really lucky. Now I am very skilled at JavaScript, jQuery, HTML, CSS, and I'm working with PHP now. And we're going to transition to Angular, which is huge today, right? But if I don't have a portfolio that can showcase my skills, then why would potential employers even trust me? Which is why I'm actually working on my portfolio now. And so, and yes, yeah, so hey bro, I mean, I do agree. As long as you give your best, you can get there. But the question though is, right, how long can you give your, it's not just, can you give your best for like a week or a month or six months? How long are you willing to put in your utmost effort to give your best until you get there? Are you only willing to do it for three months and then give up because you don't see results? Are you willing to do it for six months? What if it takes three years? Some people took five years to get their first job, but now their lives are changed, right? But it took five years to get there. Then the question at the end of the day is, how bad do you want it? How much do you really want your life to change? How much do you want to be a programmer and really live a life where you don't have to live a paycheck to paycheck no more and take care of your family? You know what I mean? So it's not just giving your best, but how long are you willing to give your best for and how bad do you really want it? Let me show you my portfolio right now. I'm gonna show you guys right here. This is my portfolio I'm working on right now. I'm... All right, so this is my portfolio right here. Check it out. So this is my portfolio. I have something that's very mobile friendly to be part. It's very mobile friendly. Here you go, look at that, illustrate. I, and I showcase my skills that I know. PHP, Angular will be on there soon when I'm actually more comfortable with it. Have an about me. Um, I have a PHP co um, contact form, contact.php form. And on the top, um, right here, and it shows a design illustration my tabs I'm adding more tabs here too uh, but the end goal is to have these links go to actual projects I'm working on the side now this and so yeah so that, that that's what I'm working on on the side too when I'm not working on PHP and stuff I am working on my portfolio slowly uh, and you know I don't have as much time as everyone else because I do have a YouTube channel I do have a life I do work full-time as a programmer so just making a portfolio on the side is hard enough just finding time is hard enough but eventually get there. All right, so thanks for asking that question, Ilya, or sharing that comment, allowing me to talk about it. Let's go to the next one right now. <coughs> All right. <coughs> wow, I look good in this camera. Just kidding, just kidding. I don't look good at all. No way, I don't look good. I just, can you guys tell YouTube, by the way? Can you let me know if you guys can tell I lost weight? I think I did. Let's do this, let's do this. All right, okay, so here is a question from Capture Cosplay. Okay, Capture Cosplay, he's been watching my videos for a little while. Um, and he asked this question, this was three weeks ago, bro, so I hope you watch this. If you're watching this and I answered your question, post in the comment below, show me some love. Um, and Cosplay's um, question is this, he said, how much JavaScript should I know before applying for a job as a front-end engineer? That is a very good question. How much JavaScript should you know? And I answer this in almost every live video that I do, but the question, it's not, a, and I actually answered this in my last actual vlog, it's not about how much JavaScript you know before you can actually apply. It's about what are you doing now to get better at JavaScript? Um, what are you making? Are you actually working on a portfolio now or are you just learning? And, and you know, even if you know a lot of JavaScript, you, let's say you've been studying JavaScript for a year, again, do you have a portfolio or do you have a project that you could show to a potential employer showing them, I can do this with JavaScript. So it's not about 
how much JavaScript do you need to know? It's what are you doing with it now? What are you capable of doing with it now? Um, and are you able to show how good you are at that? Because before you can even get into the whiteboard interview, right, where they test you, test you on how much code you know, you have to first get in the door and get an actual interview. You have to first get that phone interview where they can think, okay, this person might have potential, so let's go ahead and interview him. Next question is from Andre Rothweiler. That is a cool name, dude. <laughs> My name is only Chris Sean. Okay, two syllables. <laughs> All right, so Andre Rothweiler asked this question. He says, how many hours per week you invested in learning besides your job at the beginning of your career? How many hours a week? Um, very good question. I answered this in a live video yesterday too, or two days ago. Um, I put in about, remember you guys, when I was first learning code, I was learning code in my job and I was sneaking in coding sessions while my boss was like away or something, right? And I, and I would study about one to three hours a day on Monday to Friday and on weekends I would study three to six hours on a Saturday and on a Sunday late at night I would study for another two to three hours and that's what I would do every week and I did it for three months until I got my first job and now after I got my job oh my gosh studying I I got paid to learn code I literally would go on teamtreehouse.com link in the description below plug in uh, what I would do is I would literally the CEO would come right next to me and says, Chris, what are you doing? Oh, I'm learning HTML right now. Oh, I'm learning JavaScript right now. So I would study code for literally like seven hours a day at work and then not just that after work if I wasn't busy and during the weekend too. So I would study as much as possible because I was hungry and I was new to the job but I wanted to make sure that my skills became good enough where they would want to keep me and they did and now I've been at this company for about a year and a half and I'm a lot better than I was a year and a half ago. So. I studied whatever I can, whenever I can, to get the job that I wanted. Next question, <clears throat> from Brian Mario. Chris, um, how do I start on Treehouse? I'm, 19 years, I'm a 19 year old college student with no coding background, sounds like me, and since my school doesn't co cover everything, in fact, pretty much nothing, just HTML and CSS, oh dang, about coding, I decided to give it a try to Team Treehouse because of your recommendation a few months ago. Can you give me tips and tell me how to create my own path with them? I haven't taken any classes yet. What should I do? Thank you a lot, man. Appreciate it. Okay, again, so I, I'm not just mentioning Brian Mario because he's talking about Treehouse. Okay, I'm going from, I, I click sort by, and, it, and, it, and what I can do is I can do either oldest first or top comments. I'm going from the most top comments that YouTube is recommending. Uh, what I would recommend, uh, check it out. I'm actually learning around PHP right now. So right now I'm actually learning uh, PHP on Team Treehouse. Uh, right now I am learning. Check it out. Uh, PHP arrays and control structures. Right now we're looking at the sort functions. Um, here is the code in my console command line with Team Treehouse right there. With Team Treehouse right there. That's my code, and I'm learning. What I would recommend always go through the beginner track, which is go through HTML, CSS. You have to go, that's the basic foundation of a programmer. Nowadays, as a front-end programmer, you have to know that, of course, but even as a back-end developer, to know HTML, CSS, which are not specifically languages, but markup languages, will allow you to just have a step up over other back-end developers, too, because not all back-end developers know front-end. Um, just to go over that, just to get a ahead just to get a handle on just how coding is in general, then what I would recommend is go through the full stack JavaScript course. Now, I didn't finish that course, I didn't need to because I am a, pretty much a JavaScript developer at work. I work with JavaScript and jQuery every day, so I learn more in the job than at Treehouse, fortunately. Now, what I recommend is after HTML, CSS, um, go into some CSS advanced courses, learning how to make things mobile friendly because that's a standard today that you have to know. Um, I know people who are very good at programming back-end development, right? And when they go in front of development, they say, Chris, front-end development is so easy because I can Google whatever I need to know, right? But to be honest, anyone can Google what you need to know, but can you make the page look good? Not just that. Do you know how to make the page look good on different browsers, on Safari, on Internet Explorer? Who the heck still uses Internet Explorer? Some people do on Firefox, right? Not just that, then you have to make sure that it looks mobile friendly, mobile friendly on all of those browsers. And how do you make something mobile friendly? It is a pain in the butt, it's never easy. Uh, to be honest, making pages mobile friendly is my number one favorite thing to do as a front-end developer. Some people hate it, and it's not easy to do no matter how good you are at programming as a programmer in regards to back-end development. So yeah, so go to HTML, CSS, JavaScript, then go into PHP after. After PHP, go into the Angular course. You know those languages. If you make a portfolio using all those languages, you will get a job in a matter of six to 12 months guaranteed. Okay, so Jay Jarvis is asking this question. Um, Jay, Jay Jarvis said, I'm starting a web development program in January 23rd and I'm just learning what I can on freecodecamp.com before class starts. 
Um, are there any other resources to learn from that you recommend before I begin the program? Thanks for your time. Yes, teamtreehouse.com, as usual. Um, but now, if you can't afford teamtreehouse.com, what I do recommend is udacity.com, which is free. Um, they say that you should you need to pay, but you really don't need to. You just go through the courses and learn from there. Udacity.com is the way to go. Uh, one good course that my senior developer always recommends, you can learn um, PHP at codeacademy.com. From what I hear, it is a good course to learn from. Okay, but yeah, uh, you know what guys, um, I think that is it. There are a lot of questions on here that I can answer. I'm probably going to save this for another time. So, yeah, I think this will be the end of the vlog. Let me know. So let me know. Let me know if you guys like how I do this. How I, um, you know, do a Q&A, start with a vlog. You can see my vlog before this video of my cousins yesterday. Short vlog before I go to Q&A. But let me know if you guys like this. Um, I will do a live video if today is Tuesday. I'll do another live video either on Thursday or Friday, most likely tomorrow. If not Saturday, you know, yeah. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this Q&A, this vlog. I'm gonna end it here. And if you can, like this video if you haven't. Just subscribe if you haven't. Leave a comment below and let me, let me know how much you like this video or what questions you want in the next one. And this will be the end. This is Krishan, this is a Life World Developer, and I'm out, peace.